Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm on the Magic Cup social media reporter here at the 2012 Microsoft Magic Cup Global Finals in Sydney, Australia. And I'm here with a, uh, a leader in the software design judging category. Uh, Guillaume is here with us, and I have a couple questions for you, Guillaume, about that. Yeah, sure. um, how, how is the software design category, how's the daily life of a judge in the software design category? Well, it's a very intense first. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> you know, we have, uh, this year we have uh, 70 uh, finalists coming from uh, 70 countries. Um, so the daily life of a judge uh, uh, lasts three days because we have several rounds and uh, we have presentations for all the teams. And uh, so it's a 20 minutes presentation and Q&A. And for the round two, we have also presentations plus some end on, on lab so we can test and play with, uh, with the software mm -hmm. they produce. And finally, on the third day, we will have the top six pre finalist presentation. So they will present in front of the public. And uh, that's it. Very cool. Awesome. OK. And then uh, what sort of technologies and what sort of projects, like what kind of range of projects are you seeing in the software design category? Well, in software design, you know, it, uh, we have a very wide range of projects because uh, the, the theme is uh, to solve the world's toughest problem. So uh, we see, uh, you know, some very specific projects coming from very specific uh, problems that students can face in their, in their home country. And uh, often you can see that when they solve a problem locally, uh, the project can have a, a global impact with what they bring uh, with the technologies they use. And speaking of the technology, uh, we have a wide range of technologies as well. So you have the best of the Microsoft technologies, such as cloud services with Windows Azure. You have some Windows Phone applications, some Windows 8 application. Uh, you will also have, um, you know, hardware devices. Uh, they build the, uh, their themselves and they will use the micro, micro framework, .NET micro framework to, to code it. And uh, so they also mainly use a lot of Kinect stuff. Uh, so it's really, really interesting to see all the bunch of technologies. Very cool. Okay. And then for someone that's considering competing in the future in the Imagine Cup, maybe you can give some advice to someone like that. Well, the f my first advice is uh, trust your project. I mean, you, you must be passionate by, by your project. If you're uh, passionate, uh, you, want, uh, you will spend hours on building it, uh, trying to find uh, the end user of your project. Uh, if they are really interested, if your uh, project uh, really solved that problem. And uh, you would also uh, have to find some partners in order to be better and uh, to have a really uh, relevant software. And, uh, and work, don't hesitate to spend nights and weekends to, on your project. And you will see it's a, it's a lot of fun, actually. Very cool. I appreciate it. I think the audience is also going to appreciate that advice. It's pr uh, priceless advice for someone that's considering a future in the Imagine Cup. Um, well, thanks so much for your time. I you're appreciate welcome. it. And if you're interested in a story like this and many others, you can follow us on, on Twitter with our hashtag MSPSMT and the official Imagine Cup hashtag, which is just hashtag Imagine Cup. Thanks for watching.